Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna uh, present and show you and describe a little bit uh, the new TBS Professional H265 4K HDMI encoder. So basically, uh, code name is uh, 2604, and this is the latest product. This is the 4K. Um, HDMI encoder. Uh, of course, it works also backwards, so it can do HD or full HD. It can do H.265 or H.264 uh, output call produce output quality stream. Uh, first, I will uh, very fast present you. It's almost the same interface. There is, however, there is one small addition, but it's small and it's very important addition. It is the usage of uh, Wi-Fi uh, adapter, a Wi-Fi built-in uh, uh, connector. So uh, basically, the encoder itself, it's, co it's coming with uh, LAN gigabit network and also with uh, um, Wi-Fi uh, uh, network. So if you would like to uh, connect with Wi-Fi, quite straightforward. Uh, as you can see, we are on the network settings. You just have to go on the network uh, here. DHCP is disabled. Uh, local IP address, so uh, this is the default address uh, you can uh, find uh, the encoder web UI, the web interface, the web user interface. And now here are the uh, access point, so the, the networks, which you can select to connect. Uh, why it's added this uh, Wi-Fi uh, extra connection? Well, as you may know, uh, a lot of uh, action cameras are used with Wi-Fi. Action camera is working as a access point. And you can connect, of course, you can select and set. I don't have uh, here an action camera, but you can select and connect and stream directly from an action camera. Uh, I have did some tests, previous tests. I will have some uh, screenshots attached to this uh, movie with uh, some action camera connected via Wi-Fi. So uh, basically, the Wi-Fi is helping uh, to expand the function and the connectivity with uh, action cameras or any uh, other uh, uh, such kind of uh, devices. Please take forward the same uh, interface, HDMI main, HDMI second, uh, C CVBS, CVBS second, audio expand. There's not too many uh, different things from the regular uh, encoder, just the resolution. It's uh, supporting now uh, uh, H.265, H.265 and H.264. And of course, the um, uh, resolution uh, can be up to uh, uh, 4K. So uh, bitrate, uh, video feed, audio feed. Uh, we have the web port for HTTP, the HTTP port, RSTP. Uh, in this case, in this uh, example, which I'm gonna show you, I have used the Twitch. Uh, basically, I'm gonna I connected the the uh, encoder, the 4K encoder, I connected to the GeForce uh, uh, HDMI output. The second output is connected to the monitor. So now uh, uh, one of the images on the um, uh, encoder, the second image is on the uh, monitor. Of course, if you would like, I will share, show you, yeah, display settings. This one is the, the how it's called, the encoder. Yeah, uh, no, this one is the monitor, this one is the encoder. It is connected and uh, it is working. If I want to set them, I, all I have to do is just to extend or duplicate these displays. And of course, automatically it will uh, take also the encoder. As I told you, the one is the encoder. As you can see, the resolution is uh, 4K, yeah? Its orientation is landscape. I use the extended display. So what is on this display, it also shows on the uh, second display. This is the monitor. 
this is the encoder now of course if i want to see some uh, advanced settings i can go here and i can see here the information display information is tbs 2604 yeah it's connected to a uh, geforce gtx 1070 yeah this is the uh, resolution refresh rate it's set to 30 hertz uh, bit depth it's 8 bit rgb color space is a standard dynamic range it's sdr actually and the second device yeah it's the uh, monitor which i'm using uh, for uh, this uh, presentation okay this is uh, everything it's already configured as i told you it's quite straightforward to configure just go to the hdmi main and uh, uh, enable uh, exactly what you want uh, in this case i wanted to stream to Twitch, yeah. So I added the live dot twitch dot tv slash app slash yes. Hit enable on the right side of the screen here, and uh, I've said the RTMP port server port, uh, RTMP app name live. It can be anything. It doesn't matter. Uh, RTMP stream name. Here is the the most important uh, thing. It's the streaming key. The streaming key can be found in your uh, Twitch uh, account. Yeah, uh, you can find it. As you can see already, it's broadcasting to Twitch. Here is my uh, second desktop, yeah? And uh, here is the encoder, yeah, it's set. It's already, after you fill in the fields, you press just apply, yeah? And automatically will uh, will start streaming to, to Twitch. As you can see here, the Twitch is already, uh, it's uh, working and uh, it's streaming to Twitch. It's, now it's on full screen. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's uh, uh, 4K. We can check. Yeah, it's 2160p. Yeah, the source. So it's 4K, 30 hertz, per, uh, 30 frames per second, which is more than enough to stream uh, a, a regular video. However, if you want to play games and stream them directly to, to the Twitch with this encoder, you're gonna need a the second version, the second revision, which is with uh, 60 hertz, which which means automatically it's with 60 frame per second uh, inside the, the the encoder. Yeah, so uh, to be able to match also the gameplay, uh, if you plan to stream um, directly to Twitch some uh, specific gameplay. Uh, the setup for YouTube is quite similar. It's almost identical, so uh, I already made some uh, screenshot here. I'm going to show you. Uh, as you can see, instead, all we have to change is RTMP server IP. It's a.rtmp.youtube.com. Yeah, live. And below here, you can just paste, copy paste from your YouTube account your streaming key, apply, and that's it. And uh, automatically, it is connecting to the to the um, your YouTube or your Twitch account. Yeah, here it can show you the hardware status. Yeah, it shows some uh, some small errors, but that doesn't mean it doesn't work. It, it's working. Yeah, as I show you earlier, this is this is my desktop here. You can see my uh, second desktop, which is running from um, from encoder right now. Stream here help many statistics inside the Twitch if you want to inspect your stream and see different information about your stream. Uh, you can, of course, um, play with the audio, HDMI audio, line in, no audio, uh, whatever. Everything is present, everything it's, can be found inside the, the menu and the web UI. Uh, it's easy. And uh, it's very easy to use and very easy to straightforward to configure. It's a very nice product. It's not expensive. And usually it is dedicated. We are uh, dedicated. We are made this product mostly for professional people, for people who wants to stream their content, for uh, professional gamers, for example, for professional uh, streamers, yeah, uh, which once mostly they desire to... Uh, stream their content and whatever they are uh, building and making in content uh, wise yeah to stream it to youtube to make make it public this is it it's a small presentation it's a very small device you can see more information uh, on www um, 
dot tbs iptv.com if you log in and uh, if you connect to this website and go to the products uh, uh, to the products tab you will find the encoder tbs2604 tbs2604 it's uh, let's see where it is uh, video encoder yeah uh, tbs2604 03 is the old one and the 04, it's here. It's quite new. It's a new arrival. Many, many informations, multiple other information you can find here, such as resolution, as I told you already, uh, the format, yeah, uh, the HDMI output, the Wi-Fi, which I already described it to you, and the usage of the Wi-Fi. Uh, HTTP and uh, RTSP and RTP, RTMP, UDP, UDP protocols on VIF which is characteristic to uh, monitoring uh, surveillance systems yeah support logo you can add logo inside and personalize your sim the output as i told you it's uh, 1 gb inter interface so it's very easy uh, large data can be streamed out without any problem uh, network physical quite straightforward, it's a very small device. The only uh, big difference, uh, as I told you, is the Wi-Fi presence, which in the previous version was not uh, was not being added. We didn't use Wi-Fi, so uh, we pay attention to the requests of the users, and we have uh, uh, listened to the uh, fans and the, uh, the users, and we added the Wi-Fi to be able to connect other devices, such as action cameras, and of course, the most important addition is the support for 4K. 4K, it's very easy output uh, support and uh, very nice. 4K can be seen as uh, H.265 or H.264, uh, up to your desire. Many other informations and uh, download uh, new firmware you can find in the download section. Yeah, so in the download section uh, to the coding device, you can find everything. Look. Uh, right now, I just noticed there is a newer uh, firmware uh, update. Yeah, so uh, the firmware is here, and uh, the manual and the data sheet and all other informations are here in PDF. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, any other information would you like? Just ask on the uh, YouTube channel. You can ask on the YouTube uh, uh, TBS channel. You can ask on the forums. Yeah, we have here many customers. Some customers they ask us about uh, how to connect our devices with uh, YouTube and with uh, Twitch. Yeah, it's explained. Uh, the support it's done via uh, support at tbsdtv.com. Uh, so feel free uh, once you have issues or problems with the device, you buy the device, contact us. You can contact me on my uh, YouTube channel, contact us on the, on the support email, and uh, we gladly uh, help you, assist you with any kind of issue and uh, uh, help you uh, get your device working on proper, uh, in the proper manner. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Uh, see you next time at the next uh, uh, movie which we are preparing. We have a few uh, new products uh, uh, about to show up, and uh, I'm gladly waiting for you to show or to watch us keep us close. And uh, almost forgot, be uh, aware we are launching um, very soon a contest. It's a um, contest with five free. TBS 6909X, the new uh, DVB satellite S2X card. So we will have a very big contest in couple of next few days, cup next couple of days. So keep close uh, eye on uh, social media, on uh, YouTube, on Twitter or uh, uh, LinkedIn page, and you will uh, find the details of the contest. Once again, thank you very much. Have a nice and pleasant day. Bye bye.